Shut up and sit down. What's up, guys? It's Resolute Kraken. We are on stage four of the Dakar 2018 on the bikes. Ricky Brabeck again we're playing as. Uh, I think we're sitting fourth overall. We made a good recovery the last two stages. I think I won them both. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this time. Uh, this looks like a very long stage. 80-some 80, 80 waypoints. Um, starting off here next to the ocean. Uh, it's pretty cool in the real Dakar when they do this, uh, going along the shore here. Yeah, just going flat out. I still don't know if you'd swamp the bike if you went in the ocean. I don't want to try it because I don't want to ruin the whole rally if you had to abandon it or something. I'll go a little deeper in there, but it's still in the still in the sand. to the first waypoint yet. There we go. I'll speed it up for you guys. The stuck in the mud shake like normal. Yeah, so the thing I like about this stage so far is uh, it's a little bit different terrain than just uh, straight off into the dunes like we have on the last three stages. It's just some flat out running though. Yeah, so I do run into a problem here. I can't find this waypoint. And jumping through these moguls here. Whoop. Camel grass or whatever you want to call it, these humps. Oh, I wish you could whip off that. Yeah, I cannot find this waypoint. I think it's right down there by those houses. 20 minutes later. Right, so I ended up going back, uh, try to find somebody. And I found Matthias Wachner. He looks like he is having some bike problems. Um, yo, Matthias, what's up? I think he's having some vapor lock issues or something. Fuel, fuel delivery issues, I think. Um, man, he's just not looking good, but... I definitely can't follow him. It'll take forever. I wonder if he's really having a problem like the AI is having a bike issue, uh, mechanical. I don't, I don't know if they do or not. I need to find somebody else to follow. There's another guy back there, but man, they all go slow. Later. Yeah, so I finally found this waypoint. It was down at these other sets of houses, not the first set of uh, houses that I, that I was at. Uh, so I'm on my way again. Yeah, this stage has a lot more uh, roads and tracks to follow.
catching some air. that waypoint. I was not expecting that rock to be there. Boom. Ouch. I think that would have been rally ending right there. Oh man. Ricky's not looking good. Oh, brush it off. I think we can probably take a breather. Ooh, that was a close one. The bike is smoking. Does not look good. Carry on. That's it. I do like it on the, in this game where you can, um, when you do crash, or you can just get off the bike if you want. I think there's a bug though when I try to stop the front wheel locks up but the bike keeps accelerating forward like it's very hard to stop the bike to a dead stop I don't know why it's it's got to be a bug okay so last time we talked about uh Dakar 2020 uh, moving to Saudi Arabia um Yeah, we'll see how it's going to be. I don't know. Um, the developers of this game, um, they seem to be pretty sure that we are going to be playing after the Dakar 2019, the Dakar 2020 version in Saudi Arabia in, the, in this game. Um, so they're pretty confident they're going to have two more versions of this game. Uh, so that leads me to believe that they have a multi-year license for the game. Um, and they've made enough money off of the off of this this year's game to Make a next one at least um, and then the next two so uh, You know so they they're pretty confident about it, you know at least from their uh, posts and Twitter and other places um, So we'll see I think like I said they had a they have a very good start to a game uh, the graphics um the navigation, etc., is, is very fun uh, if you're into rally raids. Um, but I, yeah, they can definitely they need to improve their physics so much. Uh, it just is really bad, especially on the bikes. I haven't played the car except in the tutorial, um, but they need, definitely need to fix it, the bikes. And I don't know. I mean, I like the way. Finding the waypoints and the navigation, it's fun, but that's what the the game just comes down to that though. Um, just finding the navigation points, uh, it's just like just following directions. Um, you're not actually really riding the bike against the terrain, it seems like. Um, it's That's a secondary thing versus the navigation. Uh, so it would be cool if they could somehow I don't, I don't want to say, how, I don't know how they could change it, but because uh, what they're doing is they're, they're trying to replicate the full stages, um, the scale of them, you know, they're, they're running the, they're, they're of course smaller, uh, you see the kilometers t count down a lot faster than in uh, real life, and I'm also at 200 speed right here, so that's not really indicative of the true speed, uh, but if they could do something to maybe extend certain parts of the stage like uh, make like a special within the stage that's not really waypoint uh, finding uh, it's a, 
You know, you can just go all out, you know, following a track or something. Um, and make it a little longer, maybe maybe true one-to-one -one scale. And uh, that would, that might be really fun. Um, then you don't have to worry about the waypoints on that particular section of the stage. And maybe it's some, you know, tricky, tricky terrain you have to go through, like, you know, the jumps we just saw and, and things like that. But make miles and miles of it, uh, trying to go as fast as you can. Uh, I think that could that could be interesting. And this was just a lot of riding on roads, which was kind of fun. You know, like I said, it's a good break from the dunes because I was getting very tired of the dunes. There are some dunes in this stage. I think I'm gonna fast forward for you uh, f through the dunes for you guys because I didn't want to even watch it. months later right we made it through the dunes and up to the right you guys are going to see this this looks like a some kind of big facility like a stadium or an arena uh, i don't know but i'm going to go check it out This is really the only man-made thing besides those little villages that I've seen in this game. But this this thing is out in the middle of nowhere. There's a road here. There's no parking lot. There's just no nothing. Uh, there's a crosswalk though. Um, and they have pizza, tacos, and burritos here. I'm going to go try to get one. This is, what is this place? Like, do they make Hot Pockets? Or is this like the Taco Bell factory here? Uh, I don't know. That's yeah, a good postcard we can send home to the, to the family on the, from the Dakar rally. Let's get back to it. I have no idea what this place is. Oh, and I wasn't expecting these rocks. Oh, and we're down again. I saw landing on top of the bike. Took a bar into the ribs, probably. Train variation, like I said, this I really like this stage for that reason. Catching some air. Down the tarmac here. Somehow, I, I think this would be uh, there'd be a speed limit on this. I know we're in the middle of nowhere, but usually I think when they're on regular roads, uh, they make you uh, adhere to a local speed limits. I get confused here. I was like, is this really? the way so it didn't look exactly like the map yeah screw it just go I 
And if you guys don't know, there are two free, I think they're free because I got them on Steam for free, uh, expansion packs for this, two additional rallies, um, part of the Dakar rally series. Um, I, I believe they're both in South America. Um, I can't remember the names, the Inca and something else, uh, I believe they're called. Uh, but check them out if you want some additional, additional stages to do. Oh, well, they're, they're whole separate events. I'm trying to find my way down here. Uh, I don't know how I'm getting down. I'm trying to get through these rocks. Oh man. Not good. And that did not sound good. I think we broke something on the bike. Broke lots of things. How do we wear my brakes out so much? We were barely even going. Gearbox. What is the difference between the gearbox and the transmission? Terrible. Right, I'm going to try to fix everything. And I can't repair the transmission, which is totally jacked. It's fully unrepairable. Electronics and suspension are unrepairable also, but they are not red. <laughs> so what am I going to do? Can I push this bike to the finish? I'm only a few... Uh, Why won't it let me in? And there's no way to abandon the rally. I just don't know what to do. Just cannot repair it. Uh, it won't go anywhere because I have no transmission. Two thousand years later. All right, we'll try this one more time. And what do you know? For some reason, I can now repair it. I have no idea what I did. I just kept going back into the menus, Eric. messing with things. Why? I, I'm not sure. Well, let's keep going. Except now I'm kind of lost again. Need to find that waypoint. Oh god, don't ruin the bike, I just repaired. I'm gonna head back to that waypoint, the original one. is getting dark. So you look at Matthias Wagner. It says he's in second place. He's only on waypoint 14. I'm on 59. If you remember at the first couple waypoints, I was riding next to him. He looked like he had some bike problems. So I don't know if he's truly, if he's truly going to have some problems with his bike and uh, where he's going to finish on the stage. But it seems like it would be fully dark by the time he comes in. And I'm back to right where I crashed.
I still cannot find these waypoints. Some of them are just so hard to find, the ones that don't have the GPS settings. And see, and then I hit that one. I don't, where was it? I have no idea. trials and tribulations uh, we finally did it oh man that was a long one I think we had uh, 30 minutes of additional time for repairs it's it should have probably been longer than that oh man that was a tough one it was fun though terrain was different had some repairs had some problems okay even with the repairs I still finished 10 minutes ahead of second. And where was Matias? He finally finished 11th, uh, two hours. Um, so I am now 10 minutes ahead. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot. Hit that subscribe button if you can, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.